All right, so you're wondering how much it costs to live in Paulsville, Washington? Well, this video is gonna be all about the cost of living right here in Paulsville, Washington. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ladina Strand, I'm a realtor in Portage, Washington. Now, if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna learn everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing, make sure you tap the subscribe button down below and also click the little bell so you're notified every time that I do a new video. Now, I'm getting calls, emails, texts every single day. I'm helping them and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating here to the Western Washington area, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can even send the Seahawk. However you wanna get a hold of me, I've got your back when moving to the Western Washington area. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the cost of living, the houses, renting, buying groceries, health insurance, and we're gonna compare it to some of the other major cities that are neighbors to us to the east. So let's get started with the elephant in the room. Housing prices are what makes it so much more expensive to live in Paulsville, Washington and the surrounding area compared to when you look at the average of the United States. So currently in the United States, the average house price is right around $230,000. And right here in Paulsville, we're right around $436,000. Now in a little bit, I'm gonna show a map of all the different um, areas and you know what it costs per area. Now we're higher than the national average, but when you talk about our neighbors to the east in Seattle, where the median house price is more than double what it is here in Paulsville, it definitely keeps things in perspective. Now, we have a very strong economy here in Paulsbo due to the naval bases. We have the Kitsap Naval Base located in Bremerton, which is just south of us and employs over 25,000 civilians alone. And Paulsbo's location means it's easy access to Seattle where there are major employers such as Amazon and Microsoft, etc. All right, so we've talked about owning a house, now what about renting? Well, renting has actually gotten kind of crazy here. A lot of the rental prices are higher than buying, but just to let you know, if you're going to rent a three bedroom condo or a townhouse or a house here in the Paulsville area, the average price is 1,900 to 2,000 a month. And for a four bedroom rental, you're looking closer to 2,300. Now there's gonna be areas you're gonna find they're gonna be quite a bit cheaper than that, and there's gonna be some you're gonna be quite a bit more expensive. All right, so now we've talked about actually getting into a home, whether you're going to buy it or rent it. And let's talk about the average monthly cost of all of your utilities. Now, right now, if you average everything out, it's gonna be close to about $130, and that's your water, sewer, and garbage. Now, if you want internet right now, the average price is right around 60 bucks a month. It's a little bit higher than the national average, but it's right there. Okay, so you're living in your house, you're paying your monthly payments on your water, sewer, and garbage. How do you get to work? Now, the nice thing about Paulsbo is its location in reference to Bremerton down south with the naval base and traveling south via I-5 or the ferry system to get to the bigger cities like Tacoma or Seattle. Now, there is the ferry that you can catch in Bainbridge Island, and with a short ferry ride, you can be in downtown Seattle. Now, catching the ferry from Bainbridge Island is free, but coming back from Seattle in a car is around $14, depending on the time of year. Now, we personally lived in Paulsville for 10 years, and my husband works in Seattle, and so he utilized the Bainbridge Island ferry. Or you can drive around via I-5 to Seattle and utilize the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, which is a toll bridge, and you get what we call the Good to Go Pass. Now, the fee for that is $5 per day, and you only pay for that going eastbound on Highway 16. Now, we also have some diehard bicyclists that like to ride their bikes to the ferry, so if that's your thing, that's an option as well. Now, the average here in Paulsville, the average gas prices are right around typically 320 to 330 per gallon. Now, I just bought gas at Costco the other day, and I paid 240 a gallon, but we're also dealing with the COVID-19. So 240 a gallon isn't the norm here. So whenever you're watching this, it may change, but just comment below and I'll let you know what it is. Okay, so you work. What do you work for? So you can go out and enjoy the incredible food we have to offer. But let's talk about how much it costs to do an average meal or a couple at a pretty good restaurant. It's gonna be right around 25 to 30 bucks per person. Now the average meal is about 13 to $15, but then you've got your drinks and we have some pretty good breweries in our areas to enjoy. In fact, if you're gonna make meals at home, you're gonna be going and grabbing groceries. Our food prices and grocery prices are basically even with the United States. Your grocery expenses are gonna be basically about the same as the national average. All right, so when you're buying things, the sticker price is not the final price unless it's a food item as we do have a sales tax of 9% here on non-food items. But we do not have an income tax like our neighbors do to the South in Oregon. And the last thing I wanna cover right now is healthcare. 
And with healthcare, we sit right at that 100 index. So let's say you work for an employer that does not offer health insurance, or you're working as an entrepreneur or a real estate agent, a low end amount for a below 40 non-smoker is right around 300 bucks a month. And that will have a deductible of about 6,000. Now, for people who have lived here, they think that price is astronomical. But if you look at the average, we're right on target with the rest of the country. So you're gonna pay twice as much for rent and to buy a home in Seattle than you will here in Paulsbo. Now, I really wanna give you an understanding of the Kitsap County area as a whole compared to Seattle to the east of us. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. Now, before I get into the actual map, I just wanna kind of bring to your attention here at the very top. It says our cost of living indices are based on a US average of 100. Amount below 100 means Paul's boat is cheaper than the US average. A cost of living index above 100 means Paul's boat Washington is more expensive. So as you can see, as an overall rating, Paul's boat's cost of living is 126. So we are definitely above the national average. And as I stated before, the median house price in Paul's boat um, is just under $436,000. So let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at the actual map. And so as you can see, we've got Paul's Bow here in North Kitsap, um, highlighted in blue. And again, Kitsap County is a pretty large area. Kitsap County covers all the way to the very tip top of North here in Hansville, all the way down south to Port Orchard. Now also, if you look over to the bottom right here is this color gradient that corresponds to the cost of living for the particular area. So as you can see over here again, we've got Paul's Bow and you can see comparatively speaking, uh, you know, compared to the other cities around it, it is a little bit more expensive. However, if you compare it to the east side, it definitely puts things into a perspective as far as cost of living. As you can see, um, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, Sammamish, Issaquah, all these areas over here, you can see the color gradient, how expensive they are as far as cost of living. The other thing about the east side compared to the west side is the east side is very overcrowded and I honestly, they're running out of room to build. They're really kind of getting backed up against the mountains here. There's really not a lot of room left to build. And so that's one of the reasons why we have so many people from the east side, from Oregon, from California, moving up into you know our beautiful area here is because we have space and it's affordable. And also because of the fact that with Bremerton, Bremerton actually got their new fast ferry last year. Port Orchard is getting their ferry this year. You can, the fast ferry, I should say, you can be in downtown Seattle within like 30 minutes. So if you live in Paul's Bow and you're, you know, have to commute over to Seattle, you can also catch the Bainbridge Island Ferry, which will put you in a downtown Seattle in a very short period of time. Or the other option you have is you can definitely drive around um, via I-5, which will take you through Tacoma and up into Seattle as well. So there's different options. And, um, but again, you know, we have so many people coming over to our area just because of what our area has to offer. Um, ease of commute as far as getting over to downtown Seattle, the metropolitan area, but we also have the beauty. We have the beaches, we have the rivers, the lakes, we have the camping, the boating, the hiking, you name it. And we have space and it's just beautiful. So. Again, I hope this kind of gives you a little bit more insight and as far as a reference point, as far as where Paul's Boat is located in Kitsap County um, and the surrounding area. But again, reach out to me anytime. I can answer a lot of those questions too. And like I said, I'm a local real estate agent here. And if you have questions, if you're thinking about moving to the Paul's Boat or surrounding area, or your job has you moving here, give me a call, reach out to me any way you'd like. I'd love to help you and answer any questions you have and find your ideal place to live. If you know where you're going to be working or where you want to be playing, then I can help you find that a house that's really close to that because there's so many different areas and cities around Paul's Bow. And depending on what your needs are will determine the best city for you. You know, maybe you want a big yard or maybe new construction or you need to commute to the big city. There's totally different areas available. So let's find out what you really want to accomplish here in Western Washington and where your job is and I'll help you find that dream house. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you've been to Paul's Bow, if you agree, if you disagree. I'd love to hear from you and I'll answer any questions you have. So I'll be monitoring the comments. So make sure you comment and make sure you click on that subscribe button, share this video with a friend. I do a ton of videos about what Western Washington area has to offer, what it's like to live here, the best neighborhoods, lots of really cool stuff, and I'm going to continue to do it. So you wanna make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. And until next time.